everybody, Dan Holston here, helping your business take flight. And question for you this week is, who's filling up your tank? So I heard a great quote recently by a guy named Greg Burneman, and he's the guy that turned around Continental Airlines in the US back in the 90s when they were losing money constantly. He turned them around from losing all the time to having 24 months of consistent profitability. So six years of consistent profit before he, he moved on. So this guy knows a bit about leadership through change and challenge. And what he said was that as leaders, we need to absorb fear and exude hope. So who do we absorb fear from? Well, we're gonna absorb fear from our board and shareholders and families and team, uh, customers, right? We don't want them feeling fearful. Um, and who are we gonna exude hope to? Well, all of the above, right? So we need to help people feel confident and relaxed and clear and have a vision of where they're going and not worry, right? If we get into a situation where um, our team isn't feeling hopeful or optimistic about where we're going, well, perform morale's gonna drop, performance can drop, business is gonna drop, and now we've got a real problem on our hands. So as a leader, we really have to, to, to carry that. It's a heavy load for leaders to carry, right? I don't think a lot of leaders really recognize just what kind of a load it really is. And their tank is not being filled up. No one is absorbing their fear or uh, exuding, helping them to have more hope. So that's, that's kind of my major point out of this. is isn't about the fact that leaders have to absorb fear and exude hope. That's, I think that's always been the case, and especially during times of challenge. But what are you doing to get your tank filled back up? Who's helping you? Right? Are you working with a coach to, to help you have clarity and, and have hope and optimism? Do you have mentors that you talk to? Um, do you have people that you can go to guidance for? Do you have people that get it? And you know, a lot of business owners, their friends don't run businesses necessarily, so they don't understand what it's like, and so they can't talk to their friends about it, right? Uh, a lot of business owners, they don't want to take, the, take it home and, and, and you know, vent to their spouses about their rotten day or how challenging things are. Maybe the spouses don't want to hear it too, but I, I'm sure they do. But you know, there's a time and place for these things, and I hear it so often, it's lonely at the top. I don't have anyone to talk to. So I want to encourage you to do a couple of things this week. Engage in things that fill you up. If it's not people, if it's not coaches and mentors and guides and, and peers, um, you know, get around mentors online. There's a lot of great videos and audios that you can listen to, books that you can read that you can get hope and optimism from. Exercise, engage your sports, take time for your hobbies, uh, meditate, whatever it is that fills you up. Everyone's got something that's a little bit different, but please take the time to do the things that are gonna fill yourself up and get around the people that fill you up so that you can continue to be that leader that absorbs fear, exudes hope, and leads a team to success. So that's it for this week. I'd love to hear in the comments what you're doing to, to build yourself up and to keep yourself positive and optimistic during challenging times. Hope you have a fantastic week. We'll catch you next time. See ya.